Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Des back to talk to you this evening about uh, some more hitches. And we're going to talk next about the rolling hitch. So last video was about the clove hitch. You can see I've got tied here uh, a nice and tidy, uh, a nice and tidy clove hitch. Really useful knot that we discussed. Um, and particularly if the force and direction that the rope's pulling on is straight away from the knot. So perpendicular to the actual fixing post itself. So he's talked about if you had a, a bar, you know, or the wire uh, around the edge of a sailing boat, you'd tie a fender and the fender is just sitting down in the in the water here and you've tied it on that way. This knot will hold fine for that as a sort of temporary fixing for that. However, you probably all know, we don't always put force directly perpendicular to the knot itself like that. Sometimes, we, for whatever reason, perhaps it's a fender that ties at two ends. It's got two hooks on it, and we've got a fender here, uh, here to the, here to the side at an angle, um, and that would pull then on the clove hitch in this direction. Let me hold the bar still, and you can see the clove hitch isn't great. It sort of loosens itself a bit, and then it can move and slide when you've got any force on it in those directions. So the rolling hitch is a useful knot for whenever you want to have a similar type semi-temporary fixing as we have with the clove hitch, but you also want to stop any lateral movement, any lateral pull um, that way or that way, being able to pull the knot along the bar we fix it to. So how do we tie a rolling hitch? First thing is we take a rope, we come round our, our bar or our post that we're tying to, we cross over once, and you'll see this looks familiar because you, you'll see this looks a little bit like how we tie our clove hitch. We cross over again, and then we're going to do a further cross. So what we've ended up with here is, as opposed to before with a clove hitch, we had a, a clear two, two strand X. We've now got two loops coming around that way. We then do our final turn round. And as before with a clove hitch, we go through the middle. Through the middle here. And that gives us something that looks like the clove hitch, but with an extra turn on it. And that means you get great holding force um, in this direction, straight away from the knot. And the, the, the side that the double is, is on, that the standing ends come away from, again, you get really good holding force, because you can see as the as, the, as the, the rope tries to pull on this, it, it, it's leveraging these two bits of rope onto the actual fixing post itself and less chance it'll move. It doesn't have as great holding that way. Similar to the clove hitch, it will slip in that direction. So when you tie it, you've got to tie it the right way for the way you think that lateral force will, 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 will pull on it. But you can see that, and it slips a bit, and can put quite a bit of pressure on it, but you can see that'll give you much more friction, a better hold if you get a lateral force away from it. So let's look at that one more time and see how we tie the rolling hitch. So we take a rope, um, we loop the tag end of the rope around the post, we bring it down by, uh, around the post, we cross over once, we come round again, and we cross over again, and then following that second crossover, similar to our clove hitch, we go through, almost threading through the X, tighten that knot up, and what we end up with is something that looks like a clove hitch, but with an extra loop um, over the top, um, giving us that, that lateral strength um, where the double loops are. Fairly simple knot, um, but people don't really think to use it very much. They just think, well, tie a clove hitch or tie a couple more wraps um, and then put a reef knot in, something stupid like that. Whereas this is fairly simple, um, but clear advantage is that if you pull on it in this direction, it's going nowhere and giving you strength that way. The rolling hitch. Hope you like that one. Um, I hope you tune in for more knots in the future. Thanks. Bye.